Look at this picture. What do you see? Maybe you see some power lines, a few trees, an animal or two. What colors are there? Green, black, some brown. What if I told you that if you were a certain kind of animal, maybe a reindeer, for example, you'd be able to see things that are invisible to the human eye. Some animals have that superpower. They can see ultraviolet or UV light. Yep, the same light that can cause a serious sunburn if you spend too long at the beach without sunscreen. How is this possible? To answer that question, first we need to talk about what allows us to even see colors in the first place. Vision comes from light. And the light that we can see is the visible light section of the electromagnetic spectrum. This spectrum contains all the types of light that are known to exist and consists of everything from visible light to UV to microwaves and even radio waves. The visible light that we can see with our eyeballs makes up only a tiny portion of all the light that exists. But what exactly is light? Light is a wave of alternating electric and magnetic fields. These wavelengths of light have two main properties. Frequency, measured in hertz, and no, not the car company, and wavelength. The frequency is the number of waves that pass by a point in one second, while the wavelength is the distance from the peak of one wave to the peak of the next wave. These two properties, frequency and wavelength, are inversely related. So the higher the wavelength, the smaller the frequency, and vice versa. Humans can see wavelengths in the range of 380 to 700 nanometers, AKA the visible light part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, so now that we've got that down, what about our eyes allows us to see some wavelengths of light? but not others. You might be familiar with the anatomy of a human eyeball from high school biology class and recognize the parts of the eye like the retina and the cornea. That retina is the part of the eye that houses the photoreceptors, AKA the cells in the eye that respond to light and really allow us to see. We have two kinds of photoreceptors, rods and cones. Rods allow us to see at low light levels so that we can at least make out the rough outline of our cell phone to check it in the middle of the night. No one else does that? Just me? Okay. They don't process colors. That's the job for cones. The human eye has over 6 million cones in each one. There are three different types of cones in the human eye that can process different light waves in the visible light part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Each cone on its own can process one specific color, either red, blue, or green. But when they work in concert together, that's what allows us to see all of the colors of the rainbow. So what allows some animals to see UV light, but not others? Do they have special parts or something in their eyes? Well, it turns out, yes. Certain animals have evolved different ways that allow them to simply see UV light. In the case of some animals, like birds, they can see UV light because they possess a fourth cone that is specifically attuned to UV light. For many years, scientists thought that this was the only thing that allowed animals to see UV light. Then they studied reindeer. A research study published in 2014 found that many different types of mammals, including dogs, ferrets, and yes, reindeer, can see UV light. Here's the thing though, they don't have the same fourth cone that allows birds to process UV. Instead, their eyes are different from ours in another way. All eyes also have a lens that acts as a sort of filter, removing certain types of light. In human eyes, these lenses filter out UV light. Scientists potentially think that that could be an adaptation to reduce retinal cancer, but they don't really know. However, a lot of other types of animals have lenses that don't filter out UV. Just like the three cones that we have that 
work together to allow us to see a range of different colors. Three cones in these animals work together to allow them to see at least a little bit of UV light. Okay, but why does it matter that some animals can see UV light? Is it beneficial to them? The answer to that is yes as well. Butterflies use UV light to find plants for food, decide on mates, and avoid predation. Reindeer use it to find edible food, known as lichen, in a vast landscape. Birds even use it to mate, find prey, and care for their young. A bird species known as the European rollers use UV light to differentiate between healthier and weaker offspring so they can know more easily which babies need food. Now, scientists and conservationists are using this information to try to better protect wildlife. We know that some animals can sense UV from power lines, and birds, for example, will just go out of their way to avoid it, even if it means altering well-known migration routes. Scientists are trying to use this information to try to better protect the species and design better power lines, for example, that don't have such an effect on birds. So yeah, next time you're in your house and you see your dog kind of wandering around, keep in mind that he or she might be seeing an entire world that you'll never know about.